Erwan from Motion VFX. This video is all about the brand new pack M-Title Cinematic 2 with useful tips and tricks for titling workflow. M-Title Cinematic 2 provides 50 customizable and professional captions for Final Cut Pro. Let's have a look at the trailer. In Final Cut Pro, we have our 4K edit. After the install, you will find the 50 presets in the title library in the M-Title Cinematic 2 folder. By skimming the thumbnails, you can directly see a preview of the various titles animations. It will be very easy to find the textual compositions that will fit the best with your topic, like the main titles or end credits. Let's add the preset 6 to the project. First, I will adjust the end of the animation. Let's have a look at the title animation. This title has some pixel distortions which match perfectly with the frequency titles I will add. With the on-screen control, you can control directly inside the viewer the position, the rotation and the scale. But also you can edit on the fly the text. Here I will change the name of the production by high frequencies. To get more controls and parameters, you just have to open the inspector. I would like to use the full height of Final Cut Pro interface. I will double click on the title bar of the inspector and I will get it. All the titles are organized in the same way. First, you will have access to the animation in and out parameters. You can activate deactivate the animations, but you can also speed up or slow down both animations. Here, I will deactivate the animation out to keep the title at the end. Below you will find the content parameters where you can find the global controls of the position, the scale and the rotation we used before with the on-screen controls. But you have one more parameter, the content float. Content float will add a zoom in or zoom out global animations. Positive value will zoom in the titles and negative value will zoom out the title. Then we will have access to the text parameter where we will have a full control on the various text. We can easily change the font on the fly. To be consistent with this trailer, I will use only two fonts, six packs and so sounds pro. You can offset the position of each title individually. In this example, I will move down the subtitle and change the text. I will adjust the font. To help me to center the titles, I will use the Horizon Overlay from Final Cut Pro and I will adjust the white position in the inspector to be more accurate. Like this. Below the text parameters, you will have access to the effects parameters. These effect parameters are unique for each title as they will control the main effect. With this title, we will have the control of the distortion of set values. The last parameters are the content shadow parameters. So you will be able to cast shadow from the 50 presets animations. Okay, to polish this effect, I would like to switch the title in red when the black background appears. There are many ways to do this. Here I will give you the quickest and simplest way to do it. In fact, it's very simple. We just have to keyframe the color. Like the other parameters, it is possible to keyframe the color. So here I will add a keyframe when the background is black and one keyframe on the previous frame. Then I will change the color to red. 
I will add keyframes also on the subtitles and copy the color. And we have our animation with a change of the color. Let's add a new title on the next clip. I will add the title number 24. This is a slice titles animation. I will use the on-screen controls to change the position and edit the text of the subtitle. I will adjust the font and the size for the two texts. I will offset also the sliced effect. I will deactivate the animation out and also I will slow down the animation in. Ok, perfect, let's move to the next shot. I will add the title 42. I will adjust the position. To help me to be in the good area, I will display the title action safe zones. Then I will quickly change the font, the size and the position. Next, I need to introduce the main actor. I will use the title 38, this title will be perfect. I will adjust the duration, edit the text and add the right name. I will apply the right six pack font. Changing the font and the size modifies the space between the two titles, so I need to offset the position of the subtitles, like this. I will remove the animation out and we are good for this title. For the next two shots, I will use the same title twice. Title 45 will be perfect for this. To help me to find the right position, I will bring back the horizon overlay one more time. I will adjust the x-axis of the content. Then I will edit the name of the compositor. Select the six packs font and change the size to 100. For the next shot, I will copy this title by pressing the option key. I will edit the subtitles and write photography. I will change the name and place the title on the right. By keeping the animation in and out for these two titles, it will create a smooth transition and a nice flow. For the director titles, I will use the title 22. I will modify the subtitles by removing the name of the director. I will change the name of the movie title by the name of the director. I will adjust the size and the position of the content. And I will deactivate the animation out to keep the title longer. For the last shot, it will be the main titles as it will be the name of the movie. I will use the title 13. This one has a nice animation with the subtitle. I will change the text to Killing Under the Red Moon. Like the other titles, you can adjust every parameter. Here I will change the size of the subtitles to fit inside the name Killing. Perfect. 
We have all the titles we need for this trailer, but it is always a good idea to check if everything is alright, if we didn't forget something or add the wrong font to one title. On the trailer, it's quite easy to check all the titles, but on bigger projects, it could be more painful to navigate between all the titles. Here, a cool tip to speed up your workflow. First, open the project index. Then, ask Funcut Pro to display only the titles. Now you can go from title to title just by clicking on the title you want. The nice thing is that it will move the playhead to the right time code, but also it will select the title. By automatically selecting the title, it will refresh the inspector with the right parameters. So with one click, you can quickly display all the title's parameters you need without navigating inside your project. On these titles, I can see that I didn't add the right font to the subtitle, so I can make the modifications in two clicks. Ok, I'm done with all the titles, let's add a final touch. You may have noticed that I've used clips with various aspect ratios. To correct this, I will select all the elements in the project and I will create a compound clip. On this compound clip, I will apply an Amphimblock filter and I will activate the letterbox feature. I will adjust the letterbox with the right ratio, the one from this shot. Also, my titles are very clean. I would like to add a better match with my grainy clips. So I will add some grain and adjust the intensity. I will also add a little vignette effect, like this. and the trailer is done. With 50 animated titles, M-Title Cinematic 2 will provide you a complete solution for your cinematic caption with a professional quality. You will find more information on the Motion VFX website and more M-Title tutorials on the YouTube channels. Thanks for watching, ciao ciao, bye bye.